Hey y'all, it's July the 15th, 2017, and as you're probably aware, we have a series of videos that we're working on, in which where we discuss actual specific people in, involved with the Vatican, involved with the Roman Catholic Church, down to the local officials. We're, we're singling them out. We're calling them what they are as pedophiles. All right. Uh, and I'll have you know that every last person that we <clears throat> point our little finger at, they absolutely will be found out. It is a matter of time, dude. The darkness will come to the light for certain people such as Mr. James Martin. Jesuit priest from out of New York. He's he's definitely a pedophile. He's one of the first that we're gonna look at. All right, but we're gonna get to a lot of them, and trust me, rest assured that um, every last one of these people that we mentioned, absolutely guilty of what we're accusing them of. As far as the people we don't mention, I don't know anything about them. All right, I might have to look into them. I don't know, but people that go innocent. Until we suspect that they're guilty and then we start investigating those people and then we find out some stuff that we didn't know and then we take them to court and then we put them in jail, probably under the jail. All right. That's what should happen. And that's why we're singling out these people, right? Individually, it's, it's important that we don't make black, blank, blanket accusations. All right. It's very important. But at the same time, you know, I want to speak momentarily uh, in generalities, gen generally speaking, when you're considering the Catholic Church and the dismay that it's in, the, the downward spiral that it's in right now, all right, it gets you to thinking about certain stuff. Like, uh, like for example, the LGBT lobbyist factions that um, are very prevalent in the Catholic Church more and more so as time goes on the, the types that um, James Martin associates with all right what you gotta understand is that you know shoot none of what they're doing makes sense and we're going to discuss that in a little bit more detail in a second, but none of, none of it makes any sense, right? Makes you either wonder whether these people are straight up and down retarded, all right? Maybe they need help tying their shoes and finding the front door in the morning. Uh, maybe that's the case, or maybe they're trying to pull something over on us. Maybe they're trying uh, to do things behind the scenes with children and stuff. You know what? That's not going to be acceptable. And guess what? Ain't nobody going to get away with it. Not for long. All right. So speaking in generalities, let's consider the Catholic Church for a second. All right. These are people. This is an institution supposedly of moral character or something like that. All right. And they, they're supposed to have some sort of authority and covenant with God. All right. So um, what you'll notice about most of their officials, their cardinals, and their priests and stuff, what they do is they take a vow of celibacy. All right, and that's going to prove to be very important. All right, you, you got to think to yourself, and if you know, if you can't imagine their line of reasoning, they used to be very public about it. They take a vow of celibacy. Why? Because human beings, according to their line of reasoning, are in a fallen state. The thing is, I would agree to that up to that point. Uh, the, the Catholic priests and the whole institution, the, the notion was that people are in a fallen state. They actually got this from the Bible, by the way. That people are in a fallen state and that they'll react very lustfully, you know. Uh, I mean, it's just going to happen. It's in our human DNA to naturally lust after things and so therefore it was made very clear that if we're gonna lust after things 
Uh, it would be good to lust after the opposite sex of a grown adult person. All right. The reason is because if you follow that line of, of reasoning, that logic, the reason is because a man and a lady make baby. Right. And uh, it doesn't get more complicated than that. The whole purpose behind people supposedly getting married by this Roman Catholic Church is that they're supposed to get married in order to even have sexual relations. The only reason behind their sexual relations was to make babies. Now, this is very public. This was well known. That this was the stance of the Catholic Church for for a very, very long time. In fact, you know, it's well known not only uh, that they believe that you should have sex after and only after you get married. Not only that, they they were outwardly against contraception of any kind at all. All right, and everybody knew this. All right, this is why a lot of people had problems with the Catholic Church. All right, everybody knew that this was part of their found uh, their foundation, if you will, their their set of principles and stuff like that. All right, so. If human beings, all right, by their logic, are in a fallen state, therefore they have to get married in order to have relations. In fact, the only reason for relations is to make babies. You start to very much wonder how there could be LGBT lobbyists in such an institution. It makes zero sense, all right? Let's try to absorb that for a second. These old, wrinkly, old, perverted-looking people in robes who claim to have moral authority over you and I claim to bring us Jesus like they're the vessels of Jesus. He comes through them, according to their logic. Um, this is why they must be celibate and absolutely not participating sexual relations at all right not at all zero percent and what this means is that they've risen above the fallen state of lustfulness that human beings just happen to have naturally that means they're above us you understand that's what they purport dancing around in their robes and stuff and their funny little feminine hats all right they purport that they're above that they're above those lustful ways, all right? Meanwhile, behind the scenes, they're having all sort of wild homosexual orgies with just drug-fueled, just all sort of who knows what. And to, to take it even further, that is only the tip of the iceberg as to what they do. But meanwhile, out in the open, very publicly, you have people in the Catholic Church whose very job it is to be on Twitter all day and, and vouch for the LGBT community all day, even though the whole point of you being celibate is that lust is a bad thing. And the whole point of these Catholic priests and cardinals and stuff being celibate is that their the sex is only for children and making children, and that is it. And yet, still, you have LGBT. Uh, advocates see how it, none, it doesn't make sense all right try to look for sense anywhere in that you're not gonna find that thing is okay well then it can only be one of two things either these people are straight up and down retarded they're retarded as the day is long all right somebody ties their shoes for them in the morning and walks them out the front door either the, either that's the case with James Martin either that or he knows pedophiles he is a pedophile all right <laughs> That's why we're 100% on this. We're not in any sort of doubt at all. We're definitely recognizing the pedophiles. In fact, they're showing us their hand, dude. It's a very perverted hand, by the way. All right. And we're going to get to the bottom of it. Uh, and it is a tribulation, by the way. It's July the 15th. 2017. I'll holler at y'all about this a little bit more later.